Hi, welcome to Tech Tuesday. Today's resource that we're going to be sharing is BadgerLink. BadgerLink is Wisconsin's online library which provides access to licensed content such as magazines, newspapers, scholarly articles, videos, images, and music. These resources are provided exclusively for use by all Wisconsin residents and are materials that are not available through regular search engines such as Google. So to log into BadgerLink, you want to go to www.badgerlink.net. And when you go here, this is the front interface, and we're going to go ahead and click on All Resources. And when you come here, you'll see the icons. So if there is a resource, and it'll show if it is a book, magazine, multimedia, newspapers, primary sources, or scholarly journals. Right below here are different type of video clips that they've created as training. So I'm going to scroll down, and you can see here, so the newspaper archive has a training. So all you'd have to do is click on that. And what it's going to do is download Blackboard. So you'll go ahead, click on download, and then you'll open that up. It'll be, I have mine set to come into my downloads. I'll double click it. And it's going to go ahead and um, load Blackboard Collaborate, and I'm just going to run it, and it'll go bit by bit here. And watch the screen for the prompts as it's loading, and here you'll see we'll come up on the recording that it had um, for each of the um, topics. So. They're really super easy to access. You can see how to do that. And I'm going to leave this session. I'm going to go ahead and click out of Blackboard and come back here. So I can look through all of the resources and I can select any of the training modules that I would like to use. Um, scroll down. They do offer Britannica. Um, encyclopedia for each of the levels. It's, they have a very nice Spanish encyclopedia that you can go through. Britannica Learning Site, it's a great little activity for younger kids. Um, there's plenty Hi, of my name. Um, activities, safe games that they can play. So we'll look through. Um, Consumer Health Complete is great health-oriented content um, that maybe PE teachers would like to use. You've got consumer uh, reports. Digital science is great because there's a variety of video clips. On um, When you go to Wisconsin Media Lab, there's all content areas, which is nice. You've got the EBSCO resources, and you can see by the icons that they have multiple um, many different types of training modules, information for you, and go through, and you'll be able to look through each of these. These are self-explanatory. I could go through and go through each of the um, areas, but as you can see, you're able to go in and select what you want and be able to locate information you would like. Now, there's also these tabs. There's a tab for students, and this is really nice because it lays it out elementary, middle, high school. I'll click on high school, and it's separated into English, science, math, social studies, and here these items are. So a nice um, point of reference for your kids if you want them to locate some materials. You can give them the link. It's easy for them to locate. For educators, again, activities, learning games, instructional tools, you can search by standards. Um, there's also more self-guided training that you can do. 
Um, they specifically have the teachingbooks.net, which is really great um, for literacy to use with the kids. Over here on the left-hand side, again, they've got the tabs for each of the areas. If you want to find something specific, here are the resources. You want to learn about a certain topic, curricular area you teach, you can go in here. And you also can do the super search. So you can go in and it walks you through step by step here also. So that's kind of nice. And you can also, go, also ask a librarian. So you can put in your email address, type in your question, and they will get back to you. Um, and they're open from 7.45 to 5 each day. So if you do it a little later, you'll be able to come back to it. Um, other DPI resources, Songbook Database is nice um, that you can come in here. If you're looking for some music, something you want to find. Um, in that area, so it's really nice. Um, go back to all of the resources. One tool um, is Sounds Abounds. It's great to use for um, music. You don't have to worry about copyright issues with that, so that's a great resource um, for you to be able to use. So BadgerLink is a wealth of information that you can locate things for teaching. You can use as a resource for your students to um, come in and look for things. So please take advantage of this. And again, if you are at school, when you log in, it will record our IP address and take you right into this page and you'll be able to click around. Again, if you're at home, you just need your public library card that you're able to put in uh, the number and you'll be able to access everything. So good luck to you with BadgerLink. Enjoy the many resources. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me, Tony Hynelski, the K-8 librarian, and I'd be more than happy to help you um, with any of these resources or information. Thank you.